Hey guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Randy and I am the owner at Planner Pixie Co., which for now you can find on Etsy. So I am in the cloud or Estelle cloud for this year. This is my very first time in a rings and um, what drew me to the cloud was the fact that I could pretty much come up with my own planner. So for those of you that are new and don't know, I am doing um, three monthly views every month. So I have a view that is everything that is like home and work related appointments, that kind of thing. I have one that's financial to keep up with bills and then I have one that is um, fitness. So my purpose of sharing my monthlies this year is to keep up with my fitness journey and to share it because it, hel it helps hold me accountable to myself to share it. Um, I still suck at working out and eating right. We'll just put that out there. But I do think that it helped me to have this. I do think that the, all the work that I put into this, it, it was worth it. And it helped me to work out more than what I probably would have. It's helped me to share it with you guys because, because I know it's out there and like I don't want to be a complete failure at it. Um, so um, what I'm feeling like is going to happen mostly with these monthly views is just to go over the fitness aspect of it. Um, as you can see, my January monthly that keeps up with appointments and work and such it's still pretty blank. I am officially about a month behind on weekly plan with me's. So once I can get um, a couple of them prepped where I'm doing scripts, I'll go back and fill in all of this. I did add this after the fact. I did take a poll on Instagram to see if you guys would like some of these tall fashion girls to add to your spreads as well. Um, just to spice it up a bit. I know everybody's not a fan of fashion girls. So actually try not to add them a ton in the monthly views um but it it made each one look different and then i added olaf on this one so um let's get into what happened fitness wise so in the month of january i was doing the program called muscle burns fat i did really well the very first week lost a little bit I did pretty well the second week. I missed one workout. I lost a little bit more. And then the third week, it just went downhill from there. I don't know what happened. I was, yes I do. I was in the very last stretch of TPC orders, just trying to get them done. It's an excuse, and I'm good at making excuses to not work out. Um, and pretty much just tired and just I had a headache all week and I started my period and yada 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 all the things right so I crashed and burned here I only worked out one time I gained back every bit that I had lost and here we are so I'm coming out of this last week and I'm happy to say that when I weighed yesterday I'm down 1.4 pounds just from this week and I lost some inches too so in having a fitness journey for so many years I have learned along the way to not let the scale dictate my mood. Um, it's very frustrating to get on the scale and not lose weight, but you could lose inches and not lose weight and that makes your clothes fit better, which puts me in a happy mood when that happens. So I did lose two and a half inches. I lost in my chest, I lost in my waist, I lost um, a couple or a half inch in each arm. So all in all, I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I counted it was like 18 workouts that I did this month. That is way more than any, like even in the past two years probably that I've done in a single month. So pretty proud of myself. This past week, I'm really, really proud of myself. I missed one workout and I do think that I'm gonna try to make it up this week. Probably on arm day because arm day doesn't really like wear me out like the rest of the day. So um, what I'm doing now is there is an advanced version of this same program, Muscle Burns Fat, and I'll tell you it is hardcore. It is, it's so hard. I've been having to modify a lot and like modify the modifier. Um, so um, yeah, it's pretty rough and um, I've got two more weeks of it and then let's get into 
February, we'll talk about what is going down in February as far as fitness. This is my February monthly that is in the shop. And again, I added one of the tall fashion girls over here. I don't have much. I've got TPC. I got the big old live the night before Valentine's Day. I'm not exactly sure what I was going to put down here, but I just thought it was cute. Um, I do now have the foiled uh, month overlays that you can add to your spreads, leaving the month completely off. Was this the first month like this? No. So you can now purchase kits without the month and also the um, days of the week. You can make it however you need it. I actually tried a Monday start this month. I've, in my whole four years of planning with sticker planning, I've always had a Sunday start. So this was a little different for me, but we're going to see how it goes. I like the idea of my weekends being together over here. And so this is the view to where uh, everything is home, work, appointments, that kind of thing. And then I have the spread that is all of my bill dues. I put the February down here this time for a little bit of a different look. I have a different fashion girl here. I just think it gives it, it looks a little different to have the different fashion girls to put this down here. So um, I do think I'm going to start um, budget planning but I don't think I'm going to do it in this planner. I don't want this to get so bulky. I already feel like it's going to get really chunky because I, I am ha having three monthly views. I don't know what adding a couple of more pages per month for budgeting will do to it. I mean, I could do it and try it, but I don't think I'm going to. So I do think I am going to start budgeting. I went through my checkbook yesterday and I was sickened at the amount of money that I let us spend in the month of January. So I am going to try budgeting. I don't think it's anything I'm going to do on camera, but I'm telling you guys this so that I think I might start making budget kits and when I do, I'll share them with you guys to see if it's something that you're interested in. Um, and so today what I'm going to be laying down on camera is the fitness portion of my monthlies. I have another monthly here. I've actually made one of these to put on the sidebar for something a little different. I make these extra for myself to keep up with um, all of my measurements. And then I do go as far as to print out all of my workouts and everything. So I've, I've contemplating making like a fitness, I don't know if I want to do an add-on. I don't know because I redone my weekly kits to where there was no more add-ons. So I don't know if I want to put an add-on on the monthlies, but I really contemplating it so that you guys could do like a fitness spread for yourself and having just extra ones of these. I don't know. I don't know. I may eventually turn this into like a four page something maybe because right now this is what my monthly views look like. They are three pages and I've now added just this little strip to where your days of the week are on it. I could definitely make this bigger and make it into a four page kit and give you guys extra of these so that if you did want to do workouts like this or keep up with your workouts, calories, that kind of thing, there would be extra or if you just needed extra for like budgeting or whatever because as of right now there's only this many of these type of labels in here. So I don't know. You guys give me some feedback. Let me know if you want me to turn these into a four page kit with some of these extras. They would just be blank and you can fill them in as needed. And that's pretty much it. I have my February. This is in red glitter and I already have my whole reinforcements down. These particular ones you can find in the shop as a printable and you can foil them yourself. I do have a different kind in the shop that I will foil and send to you. These are super hard to get a good foil on and also to cut. So I just let you guys do it yourself. So I'm going to speed things up, add some music, um, get this laid down, and then we will reconvene and talk about what the fitness plan is for the month of February.
All right, guys, in true Randy fashion, I was not fully prepared and I had completely not even printed the upper body burn and the power ignite. So I did all that off camera, spared you that. You get the idea of laying everything down. Okay, so for the month of February, I will be doing two different programs. I'll be finishing up Muscle Burns Fat. That will be the first two weeks. And then I'm going to be going into Lift 4, which is a mainly obviously a weight lifting program it is only four days a week though and i know me and if i don't get those six days a week in i'm gonna get completely off track so for the two days wednesday and saturday are your days off um and i get that there's a whole like like there's a reason why there's days off you're really lifting a lot of weights and you need the time to recover so i'm throwing in workouts that are really not they're not that hard on your body. It's a very beginner workout. It's called Country Heat. It's country line dancing. It sounds super silly. And I'm not a dancer. But it's like really easy. It's not like hard dancing or anything. And it's it's very... Some of it is a little intense on your legs. A little bit. Um, but it's really not hard. And the, the whole point of it is to just get my body moving a little extra that day. To get my heart rate up that day. And just to keep me in the habit of working out every single day so yeah two different workouts um, for February and most of the month of March because if I didn't already say it I think lift four is a six-week program so most of March will be covered up with that so that's pretty much it it's pretty much what my February looks like as far as workouts go um, goals for this month I mean I would really love to lose five pounds in the month of February it's not all about weight loss for me in the end. It's more about just getting healthy and um, taking care of myself. But it's always nice to have that payoff of losing some weight, you know. Um, I don't think five pounds is too much to ask for one month. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can accomplish that and just stay on track a little bit more. Like I said, I am proud of myself for January. I'm not going to beat myself up about anything. I did lose a little bit. Lost a little inches. I call that a win because... Nothing like that has been happening in the past couple of years. So, um, just stay in the right mindset. I really need to work on those morning workouts and I need to work on meal planning because we will just kind of willy-nilly eat. Like, I might cook a couple times a week. I've got a roast in the crock pot right now. It smells so good. So, we'll have that for a few days. But I've just got to stay on track of consistently cooking healthier things because we will just eat like frozen junk out of the freezer and that's not healthy at all so i've got to meal plan and morning workouts that's my biggest goals and i hope by the end of february that i am accomplishing those things so definitely in our march monthly i will let you know if i am hopefully i am <laughs> and i'll let you know how um these programs have went and are going for me and if there's any more weight loss and anything like that so thank you guys for joining me today hopefully you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up like subscribe follow all of those things so you don't miss all of the things and i will talk to you guys next time bye